hello. I think there must have been a party near my house because I found two balloons. They blew in from the wind. I found two big balloons. Two blue balloons. There's something inside the balloons. I don't know what it is. Can you hear it rattling around? What do you guess is inside this balloon? Hmm. Maybe some glitter. Maybe some chocolate. Maybe some money. <gasps> I don't know. Should we have a look inside? Hmm. I can't untie the knot, can I? I think I might have to pop the balloon. Cover your ears, it might be a bit noisy. <laughs> My goodness. <gasps> There's lots of bits of paper. Blue paper blue paper with something written on it. I think I know what this might be. Do you know what was inside? Lots of blue pieces of paper with the letter B on it. Now isn't that funny? Because we are looking at the letter B today. This is a capital B. So if somebody's name started with B, if their name was Benjamin or Bob, then this is the kind of B we would write. Let's write that together. Get your whiteboards, get your pencils, get your pens. Let's write a capital B together. A small bump on the top and a big bump on the bottom. Let's do another one, ready? We're gonna do three all together. Fantastic. One more, ready? We've got enough space. There we go. They're my capital Bs. We saw what was in one balloon. What do you think might be in the other balloon? Should we check that as well? Because there were two balloons, weren't there? Two blue balloons. What do you think is gonna be in this one? Maybe, maybe it's something special. Maybe it's a toy. Maybe it's some leaves. I don't know. You ready to pop it? One, two, three. <coughs> My goodness. <gasps> More bits of paper. There's not capital B's written on these bits of paper. Ah, oh, I think I know what they are. They look a bit funny, don't they? They are lowercase b's. Now these lowercase b's might not look like lowercase b's you've seen before. But this is the way, at school, that your teacher is going to want you to write your letter B. So we've got our capital, our big b's, our capital b's, and we've got our little b's, our lowercase b's. So when we're not doing the start of a sentence or the start of a name, that's when we use our lowercase b's. Let's try to practice writing one. Have a careful look. We go down and up and across. Lowercase b. Let's try. This big was a little bit wonky up the top, isn't it? That's funny. They're my bees. I have another rhyme for us to do. Can you guess what letter my rhyme is about? It's about the letter B. What words can you see on this page that start with the letter B? Wonder what we can see. A big bilby blows bubbles in the bath. A big bilby blows bubbles in the bath. I had to blow away a fly that was buzzing around me. Let's say it again, ready? Let's say it together. A big bilby blows bubbles in the bath. A big bilby blows bubbles in the bath. B, b, b. B, b, b. 
Here I can see Bilby and a boat in the bath. Here are Bilby's boots and Bilby's bucket and Bilby's broom. And I can see Bilby's blue ball. I can see Bilby's brush and Bilby's bottle. And out the window, I can see some buzzing bees and a beautiful blue butterfly. B, b, b. What a lot of things that start with a letter B. I wonder if you can think of some of your favorite things that start with a letter B. Maybe a bear that starts with a letter B. Or maybe a brontosaurus that could start with a letter B. On Story Park, I've got this worksheet for you to do. It says up the top, my name is... Ah, so you can write your name there. I'm going to write my name. I'm using a capital letter because it's the start of my name. So I do a capital J, and then I'm doing a little I and a little M. J-I-M. I'm going to put a full stop at the end because that's the end of my sentence. My name is... Jim. And there are one, two, three balloons. I want you to think of three things that start with the letter B and you can draw them in the balloon. You can do whatever you want. If you want to do a ball, that's okay. If you want to do a brachiosaurus, that's okay as well. In fact, I think I'm going to try to draw a brachiosaurus in my first balloon. Brachiosaur. Mm, I think it's got a very long neck. Long neck. Neck, one leg, two legs, three legs, four, and a long tail and a big fat body. That's my first balloon. I've done a little brachiosaurus. I want you to use your imagination to think yourself what you're going to add into your other two balloons. You don't have to actually, you can choose whatever you want. You don't have to do a brachiosaurus. You can do a bear or a bull or a bilby or a butterfly, or a bee. There are so many choices. And then if you want to practice writing out some bees, I've got some here that you can have a look at. You can copy them. Good luck, guys. I hope you have fun, and I hope you enjoyed popping those balloons. It was pretty funny, wasn't it? I hope you didn't get too scared by the pop. Bye-bye.